Last month, Google introduced an undo send option for all Gmail users, allowing anybody to recall messages up to 30 seconds after sending them. However, if 30 seconds isn't enough time for you to spot an error, then you might want to try Dmail. A new Google Chrome plugin gives you complete control over how long your recipient can view your email. This can prove a great asset for more secure communications or when discussing personal information. So how to use this new app? First you have to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Dmail. Once you are on its page, install it and you are good to go. Once installed, go to your Gmail inbox on the web and start composing a new message. Any new email you send will have the option to switch Dmail on or off. A new Dmail toolbar appears just above the regular one at the bottom of the Compose window. There's an on or off toggle switch and presets for how long you want the message to be available for. You can preset timing such as in one hour or in one week and the message will self-destruct accordingly. Also, if you don't have a predetermined time frame you want the email to self-destruct, you can yourself destruct the message at the instance you want it to revoke by going to the mail you just sent in your sent items folder and clicking on this revoke button. Although you can receive email messages from any email account or client, you can only send them through Gmail on Chrome. You don't need the recipient to have Gmail installed in order for it to work. Send an email to a friend or colleague with Outlook, iCloud or any other email client or someone who uses a third-party email client or app and they'll see the message just fine. If they don't have Dmail installed on their Chrome browser then the message will state something like this and they'll have to click on the view message button to read it which will open up in their browser itself. And in case they do have the extension installed, they can read the message from Gmail itself. And yeah, that was much for this video. You can find the link to this Chrome extension in the description box given down below. Go ahead and check this nifty feature out yourself. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then don't forget to like this video. Also, do remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos such as this one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one.